Hey, what up guys, how's it going? Something kind of cool here. Yeah, uh, I bought my wife a new car. She needed a new car. And uh, I like Hondas, they're good, reliable, and um, yeah, actually, this one's stylish. I got her a 2018 Touring Edition Honda Accord. I guess they have different levels now. There's the LX, then there is the Sport, then there's the Sport 2.0T that has the turbocharged 2.0 engine. Then there's the EX, EXL, which stands for leather. Then there's EXL with navigation. Then there's the Touring. And then at the Touring, you also have the option of getting the Turbo, the 2.0 model in the Touring as well. Uh, I was actually gonna get the 2.0 Turbo, but then I realized you lose about eight miles per gallon getting the turbocharged engine, so. This one will be just fine. Anyways, it's the Touring Edition leather. It's got all these high-end features in there, more, more tech technology in there than I thought, but I really love the body style in the new 2018. So this was a surprise for my wife. I gave it to her big bow on top. I'll throw in a picture and you can see. So yeah, big bow on top, all that stuff, and she was pleasantly surprised. But anyways, uh, let's go check it out. All right, guys. Okay, and here it is. Uh, here's the new front grille. I like it's really uh, bold, aggressive, such a change from the uh, 2017s. You look at the uh, jewel style LEDs in there. Now this comes with LED headlights, LED fog lights, LED high beams, and LED running lights in the touring. Uh, this color is called Radiant Red. My wife has always wanted a red car, so I got her a red car. It comes with 19-inch wheels on the Touring. Uh, I'm not sure about the Sport. I think the Sport comes with 19-inch 19 19 -inch wheels, too. Tire size is 235, 40, 19. Low-profile tire, but it looks great. It's a little dirty, but uh, still looks good. It comes with a ivory color interior, but we'll go inside in a second. Uh, here's your blind spot detection. It'll flash yellow when something's in your blind spot. Touring has the chrome handles here. And this is how you lock the door. If you press here, you have the key with you that'll lock it. To unlock it, you just put your hand in here and you heard it unlock. And you can go ahead and get in, then just touch there and that locks it. And uh, there's a chrome trim that runs down the side here all the way up there. And I believe that's on the touring only. Okay, it's got the little, I think your satellite up top little fin and here's the back i guess they said this is like a fast back design the way it comes and slopes down kind of audi ish reminds me of that comes with the dual chrome uh exhaust tips i believe on the touring and the sport 2.0 and the touring and the touring 2.0 t and uh, this piece here, this is actually extra. This uh, chrome rear garnish. So uh, I like the way it looked, so I bought it and uh, had them put it on at the dealership. I think total, it's two pieces. There's like a bracket and then the chrome piece that goes onto the bracket. And I think in total it's like 180 bucks. And then you pay for them to install it. Back here you can see the parking sensors. There and then there. And then there's the camera. What I love about the camera is it um, gives you three different perspectives, like a wide angle, a straight shot, and then like a bird's eye view. It's actually very cool, so then you can see how close you are, the distance between like the bumper and the curb or something. And uh, yeah, I bought this in Fremont. Great guy there named Eli. If you guys go to 
buy one and you want a good deal, talk to Eli. He's got some long, like, uh, Russian last name. I don't even want to pronounce it and butcher it. But, uh, he's a great guy. Gave me a good deal. Now, the touring, this one here starts at about, um... The MSRP is 34600 you know, the fully loaded touring here. But uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are savvy, you wheel and deal. Get it a little cheaper. Oh, let me show you the key really quick in my pocket. It's a proximity smart key. All right, and here's the front. It has remote start as well, so lock, unlock, a remote start, stop. Hold it to open the trunk, horn, and here's the back side. Driver two, of course, it's my wife's car, she's driver one, and you can hit that, unlock it, and pull out the key. Now, the only thing the key is for is just to get you in the car. There's still a keyhole here, and it'll just get you inside the car, but that's all it will do. You can't start it or anything without this, you know, proximity key. And the car is a push button start, but I'll show you that as well. Let's look into the trunk. I think it's 16.7 cubic feet. I even put a couple of totes back here to kind of give you an idea. And uh, yeah, these are two giant jumbo totes. And as you can see, there's still plenty of room. I mean, it's huge. For those of you that are in the uh, Italian mob or Mexican mafia, wondering if you could have a car to uh, store a couple bodies in, this will suit all your needs right here. This is the all-weather trunk mat. Bought it for the wife, she loves buying plants, so that way the trunk doesn't get too dirty. This is back here. And then you also get a full spare and tow kit and everything under there. And this cargo net didn't come with it, I bought that too for her. And uh, the only thing I don't like is there's no real handle, nowhere really to grab this. I guess you can go from here, but other than that, you're using your fingertips here and uh, shutting it. Uh, I believe this one has a 10 speaker, 450 watt audio system inside. Sounds good with a subwoofer. With a sub. So let me step back here so you guys can see. And uh, yeah, this is all for the wife. She deserves it. I'm still driving my Elantra, in case you guys are wondering, but I got something on the way. I'll end up showing you guys that too. Now I'll go ahead and cut on the uh, daytime running lights and stuff, so you guys can see. I know it's bright, but it's sunny California. So yeah, I drove all the way to Fremont because people weren't willing to uh, wheel and deal except for Eli over at Fremont so I drove all the way over there and picked it up from him and uh, the deal we did the deal back and forth just via text back forth back forth back forth agreed on the price and everything and uh, yeah had four miles on it when I picked it up all right we're gonna check out the inside in a second yeah this is it it's the wife's car Okay, and it's got like this wood looking finish like uh, along the trim here. Ivory, you have heated seats back here. You have heated rear seats as well as the uh, front. The front are cooled and heated. And of course here are my wife's heels. And this is an ivory interior. And let's pull that down couple of cup holders very spacious I'll tell you guys that very comfortable very spacious uh, that right there if you're wondering is a purse hanger I bought for my wife so she can hang her purse on the back of the seat and didn't always have to um, put it on the floor but if you're wondering where to get those go on Amazon headrest purse hanger Uh, you can program two seats or 
you can program one person to each key. Right here, that's my wife, that's me. And uh, when you come with the key, just hit set and then press it. Auto up, auto down. This has a HUD. It shows the how fast you're going on the glass, projected up from there on the glass. But I'll show you guys that once I pull it in the garage so you can see. This also has wireless charging. My phone has it, my iPhone 10. You just sit it right in there and it will charge when the car's on. And there's also a power button there in case you don't want it on and you just want your phone in there. But wireless charging in the Touring. Okay, let's look, here's the armrest. Lift this up, it has a little removable tray. Some microfiber. And then she's got anchor, anchor, lightning cords. So there's one outlet here. Go for your, you wanna plug in a car charger and then USB here. And there's another USB here and another outlet adapter there. Uh, what I do like about is when you're going through the audio settings and stuff, it will ask you, what do you want to pick? Like, do you want to pick USB 1, USB 2? So you could have multiple phones hooked up, and let's say you want to play music from one and music from the other. It will let you do that. It's actually very cool. So you could have two phones hooked up and pick which one plays music. NFC reader here. So if you have a Android phone, you would just go ahead and touch it right there and bang, it would sync right there. Uh, doesn't work with iPhones, unfortunately. There's the glove box. Not big, not small. And like I said, these are heat, heated and cooled. Here's your push start. Uh, front seats. I don't know if you can see the little holes where it's perforated. It also has a sunroof. So let's slide this back. And you, this opens up as well. This is Honda Link. Comes with like a one year free subscription. Almost like uh, OnStar in, uh, you know, GMC trucks and stuff. Talk a little OnStar person. Honda Link. And then this is, we'll dial, dial an emergency number. You flip that down and hit that and it'll contact you to emergency services. Here's how you open the sunroof and stuff like that. Back, push, tilt, forward. This is if you want the lights all the way off or if you want it to open when you open the door. Off, there you can see a little better. Open this here. And this thing right here gets off a nice little ambient light so you can see what's going on down here. This is a key fob cover cover that I bought. My wife has a black one, I have the red one. This is the microphone. Here's your vanity mirror. Open that up. Shut the door. And here's your uh, leather wrapped steering wheel. Feels good. Here are all your controls. Volume up, volume down, you can go home, back, forward. Yeah, you also have a scroll wheel here. You can talk, voice commands. This is how you uh, pick up and end phone calls. This has some really cool features, you guys. This uh, right here is a uh, lane keeping assist. So you hit this, hold it down, and it'll activate. And what'll happen is, you know, the white lines that divide the road, well, it will go ahead and read those lines and keep you in the lane. So even if you let go, it'll read the lines and keep you back in the lane. So you can't drift to the lane to the left or the right. It's actually very, very cool. This one here is like uh, auto follow cruise control or something like that. Adaptive cruise control, that's what it's called. So you hold that down and activate it and basically if you're in stop and go traffic or on the freeway at any speed and you can set the following distance, let's say two car length distance and you're going 70 miles an hour, it will 
keep you going at that speed, but it will always keep a two car distance. So if another car gets in front of you, or someone comes cut you off, it will back up and keep that distance and still keep traveling, you know, 70 miles an hour, whatever you have it set at. It's actually very cool. Lane, um, adaptive cruise control, it's like ACC. So it's, it's a cruise control that no matter what happens in front of you, car, something, it will back up and keep that two car distance or one car distance, three car distance, whatever you set it to. And um, in the EXL and the Tourings, you get a eight inch screen here. And uh, evidently this was a big deal. I didn't know it's got volume knobs back. I didn't know there was, I guess there was a big controversy. People hated the whole touchscreen they wanted volume knobs back and these are physical buttons but once I go in the garage I will show you what these buttons do but yeah now if you get the 2.0 T turbo here your uh, shifter is all buttons so it's like drive reverse it's actually pretty cool here you just shift this leather knob you push the button here and then shift now this has two modes, economy and sport. And then for your parking brake, you can set that here, pushing down and then hold that for brake. Uh, yeah, sport, it adjusts the suspension. It's a little more aggressive while you're driving. It's actually very cool. My wife and I tried it out a couple of times. Econ, economy, it's a, uh, you know, better gas mileage. And when you switch to it, it sport it will show it and it will glow red in here to let you know you're in sport you hit economy then it switches to red to let you know it's like like the devil the red dragon by the way that's what my wife calls her car red dragon uh there's also paddle shifters here left and right auto on headlights uh you have your um windshield wipers trip traction control off and on yeah but I love it. The car's great, you guys. It's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, if you want home link, that's, you know, with your garage buttons built in under here. That only comes on the Touring, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe the EXL, but for sure the Tourings. And uh, that way you don't have to carry a garage door opener. And my wife has her... Wife has her sunglasses in here, sunglass holder. And yeah, this is it, you guys. It's pretty cool. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drive in my garage so you can see the uh, screen better and stuff like that, and as well as what the dash looks like. And, let, and on the right is an analog uh, speedometer, and on the left is a digital screen. You could switch it to show your gas mileage, your trip, uh, uh, you know, so many features you could switch it to, and then you guys have to see the HUD. I'll show you the HUD, but you can't see it now. I can see it, but um, it may be hard for the camera to see it. Here's your hazards. But anyways, this is the car, you guys. I love it. It's it's a very very nice, quiet, smooth ride. It's got power, and uh, my wife loves it. This is also an auto dimming rear view mirror. And then, uh, yeah, I'll also show you the three camera angles as well. All right. Now also, just to give you some perspective. All right, you guys, so I'm 5'11", and uh, I still have plenty of headroom up here. I'm nowhere near close from hitting the roof. And um, yeah, as you can see, this, and this is my driving position. So this is my driving position, and as you can see, there's so much room here. I mean, it's, it's like a, limousine back here so there's plenty of room car seats for families and all that stuff so I just wanted to show you guys just how much room is in here and uh, wow wow it's impressive so here is the uh, gas cap and losing the gas cap ever again just goes on and you shut it now I hear what I was told is when you fill when you're filling up gas and you're done let go leave the nozzle in there count to five because I guess if you just pull it out then you know the air pressure it'll, it'll spill, spit the gas out so you don't want to go home smelling like gas so you leave it in there you let go when you're done pumping but leave it in and count to five one two three you know how to count to five and then uh yeah 
you can go ahead and shut it and you're good to go. Let's see if that does it again. Once you get in and shut the door, you're greeted by that little music animation. And yeah, you hold your foot on the brake and hit the button to start it. So let me see if you guys can see the HUD. All right. Can you see that right there? Where it has the compass and the miles per hour, that's the HUD. And as you drive, it will scan the street signs and tell you the speed limit for the street. It's actually very, very cool. And that's part of that Honda Sense uh, that comes standard on all of their vehicles. And it works in two parts. One of them is this thing up here. I guess it's probably a camera or something built in here. And then on the very front of the car, let me show you. Yeah, there are the daytime running parking lights. So below the license plate, there's that sensor there. And then in combination with sensors and a camera there. So it's actually very, very cool. As you're driving, it scans the street signs and tells you the speed limit of the street that you're on. And the compass will also tell you which way you're going and the name of the street you're on. It's actually very, very cool. I was surprised to see technology like that in here. All right, guys, let's bounce back to the house. So I'll hit, see how it's green, we're in economy. And I'll hit sport. You can see how it's red there. Let you know you're in sport. Yes, sir. All right, you guys, I'm gonna floor it. Don't tell the wife. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's got all you need and then some, guys. All right, let me see if you can see the HUD as I get in the shade here. And there's the HUD. Alright, let's go on back to the garage. The audio system sounds good too. Sure does. Alright, you guys, don't tell the wife I was driving in sport. Okay, this is to give you a better look at the dash in here. You can go home, you can see range, speed, audio, phone, navigation, anything you want to do here. She has it on range and full. and see where it says speed limit. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that was the last sign it saw at 25 miles an hour. And that's also displayed on the HUD. You guys can see the HUD there. And that is the HUD that's displayed on the glass the HUD on and you could switch with the HUD C's power that is a speed limit sign I don't know if you can see that and then the speed limit sign there and it says uh, adaptive cruise control lane keeping assist and then there's a navigation and that will also show the streets as well here is what the touch screen looks like you got more Hats and stuff over there. You could even hold it down and it'll give you the uh, definition of what it is and you can move. Now move it here, move it wherever you want. Hit back. You have home, back, adjust the brightness, forward track, back. And this also has Apple CarPlay. 
So I'll show you what that looks like once you connect your phone to it. Okay, so you can hit the CarPlay button there. And now it brings up this Google Maps, your music, audiobooks, podcasts, Honda Link, uh, Pandora, Amazon Music, Sirius XM. And it's great. You'll get your text messages. It will even read the text messages for you and play it through the system here. Uh, phone calls, your address book, all the, the CarPlay apps from your phone are available here when you directly connect it uh, via the USB cord. So it's actually very, very cool. Okay, so let me show you the different camera angles when you put it in reverse. So there's that one. The wide one. Or the overhead view. Pretty cool. And here's the uh, window sticker. If you guys want to see it. There you go. So uh, yeah, with the lane keeping assist, adaptive cruise control, uh, the HUD, you know, all these other features. I mean, it's, it's, it's a great car. So anyways, just wanted to show you guys the car really quick. Super cool, super awesome. And uh, all right, guys.